Wow. Chicken Dancing Keelans. I hope you enjoyed that. Well, that's part one. More to come to celebrate the beginning of spring. Welcome to the breakdown with Mr. Keelan. Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. And that everything is going well as you are adjusting to our amazing new setup of uh, at-home schooling. Uh, first off, shout out to Amistad, all my friends in House Amistad. Hope you're having uh, a friendly time uh, adjusting and using the Google Classroom. If you're having any difficulties accessing anything uh, or post anything, please shoot me right away. Get in touch with me, and we'll we'll sort it out. So last time we were talking about uh, the Roman ability to uh, use the rivers and the sea to spread their influence. Now we're going to talk about land. And we're going to start talking about the Roman roads. So, your objectives for this lesson and uh, for the article, you should be able to describe uh, the major impacts that um, the construction of roads and bridges had on expanding trade and cultural interaction throughout the Roman Empire. I think I'm looking at myself now. Trying to get down. The sides are opposite on this. It's weird. But, oh, well. So, Romans were known for many things. But one of the things that they were especially great at was engineering, building, creating things. Uh, the Romans are around now. They would be on the Lego show. They're really good at building stuff. Um, they're advanced uh, engineering. Uh left a lot of legacies, not just to their time, but lasting legacies that still can be felt today. Uh, aqueducts that the Romans used to build uh, and carry fresh water throughout their empire are still used to bring fresh water throughout parts of Europe today. Uh, the sewers that they constructed, the first to be able to construct sewers underground and carry waste, some of them are still used today, and they developed the idea. Uh, but of all their innovations, you could say um, they're major engineering feats, their network of highways that connected the Rome, the city of Rome to their empire and almost made it the heart, the pulse of their empire, most likely had the most influence um, on making the Roman Empire uh, something that shapes life in Europe, Africa, and Asia, not just then, but over 2,000 years of history. 3,000, you could argue still today. Crazy stuff. So that one, sorry. If you look uh, to, I believe, this way. Uh, I'm still figuring out which way. Either which way, next to me, it's a whole poster on Roman engineering and achievement um, that I'm also attaching to this. If you want to download it and explore it a little bit more, I encourage you to do so. It has a lot of great information on it. Um, so let's now talk about the roads. Uh, the expression back then, and is still commonly used today, is all roads lead to Rome. Um, and in many ways, the Romans used uh, the roads as a weapon to be able to build their empire. Uh, the Roman engineering and building highways is as much part of their army as any one of their soldiers or any one of their weapons. Uh, it was very effective. Uh, using highways and building highways rapidly, using their system, they were able to carry soldiers, supplies, information uh, quickly from one location to the other. The Roman command could send orders from Rome out to anywhere in his empire very rapidly. Um, the first Roman highway, the Appian Way, uh, or Appian Way, uh, allowed them to take control of the Italian peninsula uh, and thus expand the power of their one city throughout what would be today all present-day Italy. And we're going to see what they did on their own peninsula. They eventually are going to spread out throughout much of the world, uh, connecting uh, Rome with this vast network of highways. Um, if you look here, you can see uh, at the height of the Roman Empire, 
uh, the different road uh, systems that they had that were able to carry soldiers, supplies, messages very quickly uh, across great distances, uh, which in a time period without phones, without the internet, without you know anything like we have today, radio even, that can carry messages very quickly, the Roman road system was uh, what enabled them to really maintain such a vast territory from one small location. Um, if we look here, this is an illustration of how a Roman road was typically constructed. Um, and as you can see, like a parfait, a, a Roman road had many different layers to it. Um, it started with a layer of compacted sand. Uh, and then came another Roman innovation, cement. Yeah, they're the inventors of cement. Uh, and then they would layer that cement over it. Then they would layer stone on top of that. Another layer of uh, crushed stone mixed with cement. And then they start putting stone blocks on it. If you look at it, they also had roads basically have a, a curve to them so that when it rained, the rain would eventually run off the roads. They even built drains into the roads so that way uh, they, they would minimize the amount of water damage and keep the roads clear in the event of uh, weather conditions. Really, superior innovations. And these roads are still, many of them, usable today. Some of them were constructed 3,000, 2,000 uh, years ago, and you can still use them to uh, carry out heavy vehicles that you know are built today might not be able to use them, but they're definitely still able to be traveled and are in still good condition. Uh, that is the amazing part of Roman engineering. So much of what they built thousands of years later is still usable. Wow. Um, the Roman highway system was also a fantastic tool for trade, for economic growth, and cultural integration. Um, the picture that you see next to me um, is actually a road, a map showing how roads today throughout Europe still connect back to Rome. Uh, the precedent that the Romans set by setting this network uh, as new highways were built in eventual years, they're still following many of the pathways that the Romans did. And that legacy that all roads lead to Rome still is going on now. Wow. Um, this network not only allowed them to move troops and supplies and information, but allowed them to um, carry innovations, food, spices, clothing. Um, people in Rome had access to stuff uh, from the Middle East, uh, had access to stuff as far as China, thanks to also the Silk Road. Um, had access to stuff throughout uh, northern Africa. Uh, and people from all those areas had access to stuff from Rome and the other areas. The Romans became a thread that wove much of the world together during this time period as far as food, spices, and, and many different things. If you think of the way that the Internet today uh, allows you to enjoy anime from Japan uh, and all sorts of different things from YouTube, uh, it... Just like that information superhighway is kind of our version of what the Romans had built with their super superhighway. Being able to carry ideas, innovation, cultural integration. And that we see that there's a lot of impacting and sharing of cultures thanks to that highway system. Um, another economic benefit is the Romans set what was at the time the most advanced tax system. These taxes were collected throughout their empire to be able to build more bridges, more roads, more roads, more aqueducts, more sewers, and other engineering products uh, to be able to make their empire even stronger. One of the reasons why the Roman Empire lasts for about a thousand years is because of this highway uh, that it makes them wealthier, militarily stronger, so on and so forth. Uh, to give you a little more insight, I found this great clip from Crash Course History that expands on why the Roman roads are so important. Let's watch that. I'll be right back. Yes, that's right. Roman infrastructural engineering lasted through a millennium of neglect and still worked. But as great as gigantic open rooms, fresh drinking water, and big, big sewers are, the most important feat of Roman engineering may have been their highways. 
states. You hear a lot about infrastructure today, and states have always made roads to foster trade and move troops, but Roman road builders took the art of logistics to another level. Show us what a big deal this was, Thought Bubble. Consider the Appian Way, running from Rome southeast through the heel of Italy. It connected several not very urbanized regions of the peninsula. Its first leg was built in 312 BCE, before Roman concrete was perfected, using cement over layers of fitted stones and gravel. Drainage ditches lined its sides, and the road was cambered to allow water to drain off. The Appian Way allowed Roman troops to efficiently crush their enemies. It was expanded over the centuries, and the Appian Way is still around. The cement has eroded away, but you can see many long, very straight sections. It's lined by trees, marked by monuments, and haunted by history. And the Appian Way is only one of several well-preserved 2,000-year-old Roman roads crisscrossing Africa, Asia, and Europe. Metaphorically, all of these roads led to Rome. Her citizens paid taxes toward many large-scale public works, such as highways. Perhaps the most enlightening. Great job, Crash Course. Thank you. Um, now, with one other thing in the articles they talked about that was an important part of their highway system was their building of bridges. Uh, Roman bridges were able to traverse uh, ravines, uh, expanses that before this time were natural barriers that just did not let people move from one area to another. Large rivers, uh, cliff sides, mountains that prevent canyons that prevented people from being able to go from one place to another. These natural barriers uh, were really um, something that for thousands of years stopped the spread of uh, technology, stopped the spread of uh, military, so on and so forth. Um, their building of roads was also complemented by their building of bridges. Uh, just like Roman roads, uh, their bridges were built out of stone. Uh, this made them very durable. They allowed them to last. Some of them are, once again, still able to be crossed today, thousands of years after they were built. Um, they, they were able to withstand wind, rain, erosion. They were able to last a lot longer. Another important Roman innovation is the arch. Uh, not the one from McDonald's, but you know, that's... This one is uh, just as golden uh, because it allowed uh, large boats to be able to navigate down the rivers and that the bridges didn't block people from being able to use the rivers as a means of transportation of goods, services, and people. So this, once again, made their empire even more connected and uh, even stronger economically, militarily, so on and so forth. Um, so... The question for you today is I'd like you to write a description of the military and economic benefits uh, that the Roman highway system gave to their empire. Come back tomorrow for more uh, chickens with the Keelans. Uh, tomorrow I'll be representing my house, House Reviewer. Whoop, whoop. And uh, we'll uh, get to learn more about the amazing roads and uh, innovations of the Romans. Uh, yay. Have a great Thursday. You all rock.